resources, inspiring interviews, business practices, and practical advice to take your art career to the next level. Join Sergio Gomez in today's Artist Next Level and get ready to take control of your career. Well, hello, my Next Level friend. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Artist Next Level podcast. This is a special edition episode in which I am interviewing artists from around the world as they are stuck at home during the coronavirus lockdown. I am here with a friend, Nivi O'Connor. She's joining us today from Ireland. We're going to talk about something very interesting, an exhibition that's happening already online that's called Art in Lockdown. It's an online exhibit. We're going to talk about how that idea came about, how it took place, and so on. So, uh, Nibi, very happy to have you in the show. How are you today? Thank you, Sergio. Pleasure to be here. I am good, thankfully, enjoying the rare sunshine we get here in Ireland. That is awesome. Super happy. And uh, I have to say that we were connected because our, our mutual friend, Miriam Fitzgerald Koskova, uh, she uh, posted actually in the group that she's part of in the Next Level Academy uh, about this show. And immediately I like, wow, that is, looks very interesting, particularly with what's going on right now with artists around the world. So uh, she connected us, uh, you and me, so that we could have this conversation and talk about it. So very happy to have you here. So f first thing, you know, as we uh, start the chat, uh, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, how is the current situation there in Ireland in terms of the uh, coronavirus uh, lockdown? Are you guys in uh, full lockdown, partial, or how, how, what is the situation for you? Sure, sure. Well, um, no, we're not in full quarantine mode. We're not in okay. full lockdown. We, um, our government has done an awful lot in terms of trying to contain what's happening. Okay. So um, in around the 12th of March, they closed the schools mm. and the universities and the creches and all childcare facilities. Um, and they did that as a matter of public safety, obviously. Um, right. the, the, they are taking their lead from the WHO. They mm. feel that um, ourselves and the UK are possibly about two weeks behind the curve in Italy and mainland Europe. And um, being an island sometimes helps, I think. Right. Um, so we're not in full quarantine as a country. However, we do have cases here. We are mm. testing. Um, mm. We've seen a marked number of um, venues and cultural organizations shut down, which has had an impact, of course, on the artists, but in the, on the general public right. also. Right. We have been advised to um, self-quarantine if we feel we need to, report to our right. doctor, follow all right. Of the safe distancing procedures, um, mm. and for the most part, that is how people yeah. are behaving. Thankfully, do you have uh, travel restrictions internationally? Internationally, uh, yes, and yeah, okay. um, they have slowed down. The um, our government here advised uh, Irish expats and travellers um, to return to Ireland, ideally before last night or at the latest Saturday. So, mm. having said that, there we have no knowledge currently as to whether or not we might shut down further than that. But obviously, right. we are advised not to travel unless it's absolutely essential. Right, right, um, and of and of course, like, you know, as I'm talking talking to artists from around the world, it seems like, you know, things change just sure. by the day sometimes, right? And hour by hour, even. <laughs> yeah, sure. hour by hour, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And you never know. So, but uh, we're happy that you are uh, okay and that you're joining us. Uh, so tell me about, you know, also uh, the other artists that you know that you connect with in Ireland. What's the, uh, what's the talk? How is this affecting them as well as an art community? I think, um, I think as a community, we're reeling. To be honest with you, we are reeling back. I mean, I mm -hmm. think, um, obviously, you know, this is unprecedented what's going on at right. the moment. Um, but artists, most of us freelance or linked to a gallery, you know, our mm -hmm. income is sporadic at the best of times. Right. And a lot of us would have, and a lot of us working artists would organize classes and workshops and different outreach programs to try and bring in money on top of your commissions and your art sales and exhibitions. Um, I know for me personally, within two hours of the school lockdown, I lost three months work. Wow. 
So that was including an exhibition that was meant to open last night. So wow, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so that hasn't happened. And um, in conversation with the wider community and my colleagues and pals who are artists, that has definitely been the norm for the majority mm-hmm. of us. And that really is what sparked this idea in the first place, mm-hmm. um, along with um, along with the fact that we had for some time in Ireland, I don't know if you're aware of the political landscape in Ireland, but for some mm-hmm. time in Ireland, with Britain leaving the EU and Brexit, mm-hmm. there was a threat of a hard border being returned to Ireland. Okay. Um, now, we've been in peace process for well over 30 years now, and we've had mm-hmm. a very, uh, we're, we're nearly in all Ireland Ireland Uh um, and the thoughts of that were very worrying both economically and socially and in every other manner and so um, actually a number of us were five of us artists initially um, who live and work on the border and from the border Mm -hmm. here in the north of Ireland Uh, well I'm in the south of Ireland but I'm on the border of the north and the south of Ireland okay and us five artists had decided we'd do an online exhibition if Brexit actually happened and the hard border happened. Mm. And so thankfully that didn't happen, but we okay. used that as a precedent for this scenario. Mm. And the idea was that we would invite in a number of other artists and friends who were mm. affected in the same way by these closures as we have been and who were making mm. income right. losses. So right. that's the premise for what we've been doing in the last few days. Yeah. Wonderful. And, and, and it's great to see how, you know, social media is kind of helping us all in this time to connect and to rethink, right, the way which we do everyday business, especially as artists, figure out how we can adapt, how we, um, we can work with the tools that we have now and make the best out of them. And so I'm so excited that, uh, you know, you and, and those of you who are organizing the group and inviting others uh, have come up with this idea that's called Art in Lockdown, which again, very uh, very timing uh, title as well, uh, and uh, made it this into an online exhibition, which I think uh, you know this conversation can also help other artists, other organizations, or groups who maybe have been also affected by by this. Because you know, throughout the year, we all plan our exhibitions way ahead of time. Uh, we were supposed to have also a, an opening this third Friday, and of course, we had to cancel. So all the artists that were involved and so on. So you know the all this that uncertainty, but finding creative ways to still bring artists together, to still get the word out there, uh, I think is fabulous. So tell me a little bit about the Art in Lockdown exhibition. When uh, does it start? When does it end? And uh, also, how are you uh, actually prom- what's, like What's the system? How are you promoting the art? Are you showing it all online at once? Are you slowly releasing it? Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, the okay. So um, the, this is actually the brainchild of another artist from this area, um, a wonderful woman called Roisin Duffy, who would be well known here. Yeah. And uh, Roisin and our mutual friend Miriam um, mm-hmm. and myself are kind of pushing this and we've decided that we do the administration aspect of it, the marketing making the videos, okay. pulling together the, 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 the um, images and what have you. Mm-hmm. So the 20 artists in total were invited to send a piece of work that would cover us to present um, one piece of work from each of them over the period of the next two weeks. So that brings okay. us up to the estimated return of schools reopening. Now, okay. Since this idea started, we probably are very aware now that the schools are not going to reopen on the 29th of March. But anyway, we all have about, so there's 20 artists. The premise Mm -hmm. is that Roisin Duffy curates um, Mm -hmm. an exhibition page every day, including one work from each of the artists, Mm -hmm. and posts it to an album on the Arts in Lockdown Facebook page at 6 p.m. Irish. Okay. So she does that every day. All the other artists bail in and we share it as much as we can yes. on our own profiles and we invite people to share it. And it's it's doing a number of things. Yeah. Um, and actually, firstly, I'll tell you, it started on the 18th of March. So we're already up and running. We've already okay. presented um, two nights of exhibition. We've presented 40 works. Wow. Uh, so far, we have another 20 to be released this evening. And we do that at 6 p.m. Irish. And then at 12 noon the following day, we'll just compile a little video and we'll put it out onto Facebook again for more people to share, just a more kind of um, passive way to kind of absorb 
the mm-hmm. images. So it's just let them roll over you with a little bit of music, you know. Right, the right. premise behind what we were doing is uh, threefold, really. It is, um, it's to highlight how much art actually affects us, how much music and all genres yeah. of art come mm-hmm. into our everyday and actually, until maybe we're in lockdown, we wouldn't realize how much of that we miss out on. Mm-hmm. The second thing is to help promote the artists and help one another to promote each other. Mm-hmm. And this particular group, because we have all experienced loss because of pandemic. And yeah. the third one is really just to kind of help build our arts community. I mean, particularly here in Ireland, our um, cultural capital is huge. Our Mm -hmm. entire tourism industry, you know, our reputation across the globe is known for our -hmm. our culture. We're known for our poetry and our great artists and our music. And it's also to spread that. So that's the premise. We have two days off. It's on Arts in Lockdown on Facebook. Um, And I'd invite you all, please do jump over and give us a little thumbs up and a support because every little helps. I'd like to say how we're doing it, Sergio, if I have yes. time. Yes, of course. Okay, so the artists as a group that we're working with together are not all technically minded. Okay. Many of us aren't. Many of us are long-term invested in our careers and have avenues that work for us in a more traditional bricks and mortar sense. Right. And then there's some other emerging artists who will depend much more on social media right. and avenues like that for marketing. And so because there is such a mix of age groups and such a mix of types of artists, we're able to kind of help those others along as well. But we decided that the easiest and quickest way to do this was to use resources we already had to hand, yeah. to use um, to use social media platforms that we know how to use and that we all know nearly everybody in Ireland uses Facebook or has yeah. at some stage. So everybody knows how to open a page and share it. Exactly. So we wanted to keep it simple for some of the artists who maybe wouldn't have the technical experience, but then at the same time, um, some of the more sa- uh, tech savvy peeps can actually pick up the links and copy and embed code and all that jazz. Mm. So, but it was about doing it quickly. It was about um, doing it when the momentum was there. Mm-hmm. And it was about making it easy for the artists and easy for the viewers to access. And yeah, yeah. Uh, we always say sit back and enjoy and the cheese and wine is optional, you know. But <laughs> it if is, it yeah. gives you, you know, if it gives you... I don't know, was it like the little videos now we make them up, they're probably three or four minutes. You know, if yeah. it gives you three or four minutes of respite in an otherwise high anxious day or environment, isn't right. that what art is all about? Yeah. Niamh, you've been so awesome. You've been so great. Uh, at, uh, thank you for welcoming, welcoming us in your beautiful studio that we see your work behind. Uh, thank I love, you. I love, you know, what is fun? I love that your hair color matches some of your paintings in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> This is kind of, I've got some finished work over here. This is kind of work. Of, a lot of this is under paintings. There you go. I'm color coordinated. The color coordination worked out perfectly. This, awesome. Uh, so now I know where it all comes from. <laughs> <laughs> like, there you go. Well, thank you so much, Neva. Again, one last time, how can our friends find Art in Lockdown in Facebook? Do they, they just go and Google, and I'm not Google, but search and just Facebook? Go, it could not be simpler. And this is why we mm. want people to be able to find us easily. Go to Facebook. We all know how to use the search engine in facebook in the little search bar art in lockdown exhibition and you should find our page and we'd love your support and yeah thanks exactly we're gonna ask all the friends as you find it please give them some likes some shares and let's continue make this an awesome online exhibition wishing you well for you and even everyone there as well as our friend miriam and all of the all of the artists involved in the show uh, thank you for sharing. Thank you for your time. Wish you well. Stay safe. And, and you, uh, my dear, and you. Please also share this episode with your friends. Again, because you don't know who may also this be of, uh, of use and inspiration. Uh, thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next special edition of Refa with Sergio. Check out our website at www.theartistnextlevel.com where you will find our podcast library, learn about our upcoming webinars, find resources relevant to your career, and much more. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and we'll see you at the next level.